We've got a lot to talk about. We'll get right into it. First, this is the brand new winter storm warning we have in effect. It includes Shelby, Chilton, Coosa, Tallapoosa, Randolph, Chambers, Clay, Talladega, Calhoun, and Cleburne counties. That is an area that will most likely see anywhere from one to three inches of snow, possibly a little more in some higher elevations. Never rule that out in East Alabama, especially on some of the ridge tops. Could see upwards of five to six inches. Now, that being said, notice all this area, it's blank. Well, there is something for that. I've actually got the winter weather advisory, which is in effect, and this is for the possibility of up to two inches of snow to maybe a trace. So this is more of an area where we have the warning where it's more likely we'll have a concentrated heavy snow. This is the area we will see light amounts in some spots, maybe up the road or up one county. We have an inch or two. It's going to be one of those scenarios. Not everybody gets it this go around. Let's hope for the fun of it, yes. But overall, this is all snow and that's what we want. Any potential for any icing, that's gonna be back down across our, our southern counties, roughly from uh, Otaga, Perry, Lowndes, Montgomery, southward, that's where we'll see the potential for any of the uh, freezing rain. So I will, um, let me just try to give you a quick look at some of the models that we've got. Again, look at that. Remember that model I was talking about last night? It didn't show any snow. There it is, one to three inches in these spots. Very possible. All right, let's go to model number two feel like we're doing, uh, what is it, Price is Right. And not much there, okay? So that model says no. Those are brand new, they just came in, you're getting to see them as I'm seeing them. Here's the GFS Old Reliable, and I think that's a very safe bet. This has been a model I've been talking about with the, st uh, the storm since actually over the weekend and Monday, started talking about it on TV that this was a likelihood. So uh, five days out, I think it's really, really earned its, uh, its credibility, so. Uh, this is a good scenario, three inches possible. I don't see a six inch necessarily, but this is a general idea and gives us at least a little perspective. I am going to talk more about this as well as uh, timing this and certainly some new models will be in by the time we do the five o'clock newscast. So we don't have time for questions right now and appreciate you bearing with us on that, but I am uh, busier than you can imagine right now. Uh, this is, uh, there's a lot that I have to update, social media as well as um, promotions and meetings. I've been in meetings all day trying to get everybody prepared and in the right spot. So this will likely be a fun snow, but travel is going to be a bit treacherous. Keep that in mind. We want to make sure everybody drives safely, especially early Saturday morning. We will have refreeze. There will be patches of ice out there, especially in rural areas that aren't heavily traveled by a bunch of cars. So for the rest of the Storm Track weather team, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mark Crater. I will see you on deck 42. I'll be out there live in the elements for the 5, 6, and 10, and then we'll start to see the snow begin tomorrow during the morning hours. Thanks so much.